Alright everyone, so my painting, nice and dry. I'm ready to start to add some highlights and shadows. So to do that, what I'm going to need is a little bit of white paint and a little bit of black paint. You won't need very much, um, especially of the black paint, because we'll be watering it down with some water. Notice I got a nice clean water here because we don't want to put dirty water on top of our nice paintings. We'll be watering it down to layer it over top of what we already have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start in this top corner and I'm going to have my object in front of me so I can look at where the highlights are. So the highlights are just where the light is hitting the object and if I'm looking at it from straight on like this, like it is in my painting, there's only a few highlights um, in these upper corners and on the spring. So I'm going to take a small brush, and I would recommend using a small brush, and I'm going to take some white and I'm going to really water it down. And then I'm going to just start to put some highlight on certain parts where I see the sun or the light source was hitting my object just to kind of uh, give it a little more dimension and I'm not seeing much else on this view where it's just flat um, so what I can do now is move on to the second view where it's flat but sideways like this same thing not a whole lot of highlights just some in the corners here where the light hits the object. Just a little, little tiny highlights. And then again, the bottom, the view is kind of like inside at the, sp looking at the springs. You can see there's definitely some highlights on the spring so I'm going to for sure put highlights on the spring really start to bring it to life but that's um, really that's the only place I'm seeing a lot of highlight. It's mostly in shadow. So we'll go in after we're done with the highlights and do some shadows. The next viewpoint is from the top like this. So you can see there's highlight um, here and here. So I'm going to take some white paint. And this is also another really good reason why it's... Um, important to have your object in front of you because if I didn't have my object I would just kind of be guessing but since I have my object I can really see where the highlights actually are which is pretty cool okay so there are my highlights and now I'm going to go in with some shadow which is um, the same thing I did with my highlight I'm going to do with shadow so I'm going to and like I said with the black you really need a lot of water so the black doesn't overpower it and um, I'm going to take some black and paint it over top of the purple here. 
and I'm going to find that line on this side as well. Because the front was kind of in shadow. And I'll do the same thing kind of right next to the springs. If you want to use paint to outline each individual thing, like if I wanted to use paint to outline my springs, I could. Um, personally, I prefer to use Sharpie for really, really fine details like that. But that is up to you if you have a Sharpie or if you um, want to use it. Next to the spring was pretty dark in shadow. And so I'll take some water and kind of bring that shadow up. Okay, good enough for me. Um, now, I'm going to put just a little bit of shadow in here. In there. In this negative space here. And again, this is just watered down black paint. And then also kind of along here, which this is a tricky one because the green is so light. really put some water in there so that the black isn't overpowering and then we can even take a tissue or a paper towel and kind of soak up some of it if, we're, if there's too much Okay, and I think just one more shadow up here in between the two sides and we will be done. The next and final optional step would just be once everything is dry, take a Sharpie and outline everything. Um, that is optional. You do not have to do it. But if you do want to do it, make sure 100% that your paint is dry. So if your paint is not dry, you'll ruin your marker. So make sure your paint is dry. I'm going to outline. Um, I'm going to pause the recording so you don't have to watch me. So I'm going to outline and then pop back on to show you my finished product. Okay, so this is my finished painting. Everything is outlined with a Sharpie. You can see it just kind of makes it pop. Again, the Sharpie part is optional. You do not have to do it. it just looks like I missed a spot right here. If you do not want to, that is fine. Or if you want to use your small paintbrush and some black paint to outline, you can, you're more than welcome to do that as well. But this is my finished color complement painting, nice and outlined.